What's going on YouTube? Just right here. iOS 17 is finally out. It's been released a couple of days ago and you should not update to it, especially if you want to jailbreak. It's a very bad idea and we're going to get into why in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by 4 Me Key by Tenorshare. This program allows you to skip the activation lock on your device. If you got a second hand device or if you forgot your Apple ID and password or if your device doesn't have a normal SIM card you bought it from abroad and you cannot activate the device. This supports iOS 15 and iOS 16 on A11 and lower devices and you just open the program, press start to remove, select your device, press start and it's as easy as that, the device will enter recovery mode and the whole procedure will start. It's just a couple of clicks. So the program Tenorshare for me key is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it supports all the way up to iOS 16.6. .6. Now this program also supports turning off the camera shutter sound without muting the device, which is pretty nice. And you can see here that it does provide you the guide on how to put the device in DFU mode and how to use it and stuff like that. So it's actually quite easy to use. If you forgot your Apple ID from the device and you want to remove it, you can do so with the program as well. Definitely check the program out in the link below, but do keep in mind that you should use this only on devices you own. It's illegal to bypass devices that you don't own, so please use this within the confines of the law. These are all the supported devices. It supports iPhone 6 all the way up to iPhone 10, and it supports iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 16.3. So definitely check the program out below. All right, so as you probably are aware, a couple of days ago, the iOS 17.0 was finally released for the general public. And we wrote an article at that point with the changes in iOS 17 and stuff like that. There are a lot of changes and the devices that are supported are basically here. Supports iOS 15, which is the latest, all the way down to iPhone SE, the second generation, or the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. So if you have any of these devices over here, they support iOS 17. However, if you want to jailbreak, you should avoid this at all costs. Apple provides the information here about about the iOS 17 updates, what they contain, what they fix, and yep, there are a lot of fixes, there are a lot of changes because it's a huge changelog for such a big release. However, there are also security changes in iOS 17, and if you go ahead in here, it says in here that iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 details will be provided soon. So we don't know yet what changes they made in iOS 17 and how bad they are for jailbreak purposes, but it's never a good idea to update to the latest version, especially to a major one, because they usually tend to contain more security features that are harder to bypass. So it's never a good idea to go ahead and just update blindly, especially if you want to jailbreak. My recommendation at the moment would be to stay below iOS 16.5.1. So iOS 16.5 and lower are all good. Even iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1 only would be a good idea because these are compatible with the KFD kernel exploit, which is already released. We already have tools made with it like Misaka and like Clockabunga, many other customization tools that allow you to run tweaks without a jailbreak and that exploit is powerful enough for a jailbreak to be made with it. We do need more components like a PAC bypass for a full jailbreak with that but still it's a powerful one. For iOS 16.6, 16.5.1, 16.6.1 .6 and 17.0 we don't have such an exploit. So right now if you go ahead and here on jailbreak finder on my website and you select your device, in my case I'm gonna go with iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can see that for iOS 16.5 we don't yet have a jailbreak but kernel exploit is released it's already public and this applies all the way down to iOS 16.0. However, iOS 17, 16.6.1 and stuff like that, no jailbreak available and no exploit either. So the wait would be much, much longer. Now the changes in iOS 17 aren't really all that great. They are nice. There are a lot of good things in iOS 17, but to be honest, I wouldn't update just for those since they didn't add any game changer features this year and I don't think they will. The side loading is not here yet, not even in Europe. I live in Europe and and my version of my device does not have side loading yet. Thank you for watching. I'm Gia Snow. Peace out.